So today's agenda is, um, the first thing is the SQL Server configuration. Uh, next is creating an ODBC data source. Then we are going to look at monitoring performance and user activity. Um, we'll look at the performance monitor, the profiler, and then uh, we'll talk about maintenance plans. So let's go ahead and switch to the Enterprise Manager. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is how to optimize your SQL Server if you are running into some issues uh, maybe related to uh, processing or memory how do you uh, go about taking care of that so what you need to do is just select uh, your server and uh, go to properties we have looked at this tab a little bit earlier but um, there are a few things in here that I want to mention uh, on the general tab it really just kind of talks about uh, what version of SQL Server are you running and uh, some of the parameters you can set um, the ones that are we are interested in is the memory so notice here um, it lets you configure how do you assign memory to for SQL Server typically it's recommended that you just leave the default option which is dynamically configure SQL Server memory and it will uh, take care of that but um, it's possible in some scenarios um, depending on your situation you may want to use a fixed memory size and um, if you have other applications running and you don't want um, the box using a, uh, all the SQL Server memory you could possibly use that I'm just going to go ahead and leave dynamic uh, option then you have the processor um, right now I'm just running a single processor machine but if you had a quad or a dual processor you could select the processor and then um, pick one of these options here as well 